The spider you are seeing right now is the infamous Black Widow. But here's the big question. Do you think a Black Widow can ever be tamed or domesticated? Drop your answer in the comments below, and let's see what everyone thinks. And before, we dive deeper into the truth about Black Widow spiders. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating facts about Coach HES, about Coach HEH Act, about America's most mysterious spiders. Now, let's get into it. The Black Widow has one of the most feared reputations in the entire animal kingdom. With its glossy black body and the bright red hourglass marking on its abdomen, it's both beautiful and deadly. But what makes people even ask the question of keeping it as a pet? Why would anyone want to live side by side with one of the most venomous spiders in North America? In this video, we're going to explore the myths, the science, and the reality of owning a black widow spider. And by the end, you'll know exactly why this question is so controversial. When most people hear the name black widow, they instantly think of danger, poison, and death. And honestly, that reputation didn't come from nowhere. The Black Widow spider is one of the most recognizable and feared spiders in North America. What makes it stand out is not just the danger it represents, but also the way it looks. With a glossy, jet black body and that famous red hourglass marking on the underside of the female's abdomen. It is both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. But here's something interesting. Not all black widows look exactly the same. There are actually several species across the United States. And depending on where you are, the hourglass marking might be bright red, orange, or sometimes even a faded yellow. Males are much smaller, less flashy, and usually don't even carry that strong venomous reputation. The females are the true powerhouses. And they're the ones you always hear about. Despite their scary reputation, black widows are actually very shy. They don't go out looking for trouble, and they usually keep too dark. Hidden corners places like wood piles, sheds, garages, and quiet spots in your backyard. In fact, thousands of people live near black widows every single day without ever realizing it. They are out there, watching quietly from the shadows. But unless you disturb them, you'll probably never even know. Their venom, though, is what makes them truly infamous. A single bite from a female black widow injects a neurotoxin that targets the nervous system. For humans, this can mean intense pain, muscle cramps, nausea, and even difficulty breathing. But here's the surprising fact. Deaths from black widow. Bites are extremely rare, especially in the United States thanks to modern medicine and antivenom. So while the bite is serious and should always be treated as a medical emergency, it's not the instant death sentence that horror movies make it seem. This is where the question becomes even more fascinating. If a black widow is shy, avoids humans and rarely kills anyone, could it actually be possible for someone to keep one as a pet? Could they be studied, admired, and maybe even handled carefully? The same way people keep tarantulas or scorpions? Or is the risk simply too great? Now let's tackle the big question that brought you here. Can a black widow spider actually be kept as a pet or even be domesticated? At first, the idea might sound crazy. After all, we're talking about one of the most venomous spiders in North America. But surprisingly, there are people out there who have done exactly that keeping black widows in terrariums feeding them, studying their behavior, and even breeding them in captivity. The truth is, black widows can technically be kept as pets, but the word pet might be a little misleading. Unlike dogs, cats, or even some exotic reptiles, a black widow will never show affection, recognize its owner, or build a bond. These spiders are solitary by nature, and they don't seek companionship. So when we say pet, what we really Mean is keeping them in controlled captivity for observation. For people who are fascinated by spiders, the black widow can be a very interesting species to watch. They spin incredibly strong webs, much stronger than most other spiders, and their hunting style is both fascinating and brutal. 
Watching a black widow capture prey in its silk trap can feel like watching a nature documentary unfold right in your living room. In this sense, they offer a window into the raw, wild side of nature. But here's the downside. Keeping a black widow as a pet is risky. Their venom is not to be underestimated. While most healthy adults would likely survive, a bite with proper treatment, the pain and medical consequences can be severe. Imagine having a spider in your home that could potentially send someone to the hospital with a single mistake. If you have children, pets, or even guests visiting your house, the risks multiply dramatically. One forgotten lid on a tank. One careless move while feeding. And suddenly you're dealing with a potentially dangerous encounter. Another thing to keep in mind is that black widows are not interactive pets. You can't handle them the way people sometimes handle tarantulas. Handling a black widow directly is strongly discouraged because they don't like being disturbed and their first line of defense is to bite. So unlike tarantula keepers who sometimes let their spiders crawl on their hands with a black widow, that's a recipe for disaster. Even if you keep one safely in a terrarium, you have to ask yourself, why do you want it as a pet? If the goal is education, observation, or scientific curiosity, then yes, it makes sense. And many researchers or hobbyists do exactly that. But if the goal is companionship, fun, or showing off to friends, the Black Widow is probably one of the worst choices you could ever make. And as for the idea of domestication, let's be clear. Domestication takes thousands of years of selective breeding. Humans domesticated dogs, cats, and even livestock by raising generation after generation to be more tolerant, less aggressive, and more cooperative. A Black Widow spider has none of that history. Every Black Widow alive today, it is still completely wild at heart. They will never behave like a dog, never become tame, and never lose their natural instincts. In other words, you might keep one in a tank. But you will never truly own it in the way we think of pets. So, while it's possible to keep a black widow safely contained and cared for, the question remains, should you? Is the fascination worth the danger? That's a decision that only the most cautious and experienced spider keepers might even consider. For the average person, the risks far outweigh the rewards. Now, let's talk about the one thing most people fear the most, the bite of a black widow spider. The truth is, a black widow is not an aggressive hunter of humans. They usually bite only when they feel trapped, cornered, or directly threatened. But when it does happen, the effects can be frightening. The venom of a black widow is a powerful neurotoxin. This means it attacks the nervous system, sending your body into shock. Victims often report an immediate sharp pain at the bite site, followed by muscle cramps, abdominal pain, nausea, and even difficulty breathing in severe cases. But here's an important fact. Despite its reputation, a black widow bite is very, Rarely fatal, especially with modern medical care. In the United States, antivenom and quick hospital treatment make deaths almost non-existent today. Still, the experience is so painful and intense that most people describe it as one of the worst kinds of animal bites you can go through. Children, the elderly, and people with weaker immune systems are at the greatest risk. And this is exactly why the idea of keeping one as a pet becomes even more questionable. Even if you are careful, a single mistake could lead to a very dangerous situation for you or someone in your household. Oh, after everything we've learned today, the question remains, can the Black Widow truly be a pet? The answer is clear. While it may be fascinating to study and admire, this spider belongs in nature, not in a glass tank in your bedroom. It's venom. It's unpredictable behavior, and the risks to your safety simply outweigh the curiosity. But let's not forget, the Black Widow is not just a villain. In the wild, it plays an important role in balancing insect populations, keeping ecosystems healthy and in check. In many ways, this spider is both feared and respected.
a perfect reminder that nature is powerful, mysterious, and not always meant to be tamed. Now, love to hear from you. What do you think? Should dangerous spiders, like the Black Widow, ever be kept as pets, or should they remain in the wild where they belong? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's start a conversation. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with friends who love learning about wildlife, and of course, subscribe to Spiders of America for more deep dives into the incredible and sometimes terrifying world of spiders. Thanks for watching, and remember, the next time you see a web in the corner of your porch, you might just be closer to a black widow than you think.